So in the last couple of weeks, I had the chance to work with Tiberio Radio from the Azure Stack team, which is, by the way, also in charge of the Azure Stack MVPs, to work on a small series of how you can work, uh, migrate workloads um, to Azure Stack. So we took a little bit of a sample, like basic workloads, um, like domain controllers, file servers, uh, SQL servers, and a lot of other things, and show them in videos how you can migra migrate that to Azure Stack. So keep in mind, this is just a short video series. Uh, there are different ways of doing things, but we wanted to give you an idea of how that could work and how you can actually take the benefit of the Azure Resource Manager and other great tools like the extensions in that. We also then show you in another video how you can actually take the benefits of Azure IaaS and Azure management tools uh, as soon as they, those VMs or workloads are migrated um, to Azure Stack. So let's have a quick look on a couple of things about Azure Stack migration. So when we talk about Azure Stack migration, we have to consider a couple of different things. So first of all, um, migration should be always be part of a journey, right? Uh, I should not just move them for the sake of moving them. I can always take advantage of things like Azure Resource Manager, Extension, or the Azure Hybrid Services to uh, modernize and optimize my workloads uh, when they run on the, in Azure or even on Azure Stack. And that brings me to the next thing. Um, you don't just have to lift and shift services to Azure Stack. You can also explore past services like app services and containers to modernize um, your workloads while you're moving them to Azure Stack uh, as well. And also keep in mind, you don't have to do that all at the same time. So what you could do is basically lift and shift your workloads to Azure Stack, um, take advantage of the IS capabilities, which they come with Azure Resource Manager and extensions, um, to Azure Stack, but then also uh, think after you move them about how you can actually modernize them and make them more cloud friendly. And I already talked about this. Um, take advantage of the benefits of IaaS. There are some great blog posts, a series of blog posts from the Azure Stack product group, which go into detail what you actually can do, where the differences are between virtualization and infrastructure as a service, um, and shows you a lot of, of advantages you get by moving virtual machines or running virtual machines on Azure Stack as well. Also, I want to mention that there will be a couple of scripts available um, to, move, to move resources uh, between different Azure Stacks. So if you have multiple Azure Stacks and you want to move different kinds of resources from one Azure Stack to another one, um, that's the way to go. The scripts will be available during Ignite timeframe. And um, for that, you should join Tiberius session. Uh, he will show you how to work with these and he will also go into that migration journey uh, a little bit more. And the last thing I want to talk about, um, which sums it up very, very quickly, is have a look at the My Azure Migration Center. The Azure Migration Center is a great place. Uh, it describes the migration um, from your services to Azure, and it goes into more de um, detail in how you can actually do that. I also want to mention that Windows Server 2008 and 2008 are 2 are soon out of support. And you can do a couple of things to basically uh, do that. So first of all, obviously, migrate to a new version of Windows Server or uh, pay for extended security updates. However, that's not probably not the most economical way of doing it. So what we offer is if you move your Windows Server 2008 and 2008 or two workloads to Azure, uh, you will get free security or extended security updates um, for three years for no charge. And the same thing also applies if you move those servers to Azure Stack. Uh, however, if you move them, that just gives you a little bit more time to basically prepare your migration and modernization. So, so you can migrate them to either some uh, modern PaaS services, containers, or to a new version of Windows Server. And with that, thank you very much. I hope you will enjoy this series of videos about how you can move your workloads to Azure Stack.